This intraday trading strategy for the S&P 500 uses the SPX Weekly Options Blueprint from AlphaCrunching.com to trade credit spreads that expire the same day, also known as zero DT options. We're going to quickly see how it works using a recent trade example. Now, the SPX Weekly Options Blueprint is a time series forecast chart that is available before the trading day begins. In this example, we're looking at Wednesday for the week of January 2nd, and we can see that the forecast chart gives us a general idea of what the market can do between 9.30 and 4 p.m., 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. This is Eastern time. And we can see that the forecast for the day was kind of a choppy morning, but ultimately had kind of a bearish bias. So what we're looking to do is sell call credit spreads above price with the idea that the market's going to stay sideways or lower over the course of the day. Now, sometimes this can happen fast, as you'll see here in this video. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. But in general, we're looking at this bearish bias and we're looking to sell call credit spreads a little bit out of the money and try to take advantage of the options expiring that same day. Now let's flip over to the chart for that day so we can see how you can incorporate the blueprint into your trading. So we're looking at the chart of SPX for that day. It's actually two charts. The top chart is the three minute chart of SPX with regular candles. And in this example, I was using Renko charts on the bottom, which are a different type of candle. And they actually put up, they call them bricks, which shows a little bit cleaner trend and reversal type patterns. The cool thing about Renko charts is that it removes time. It really just looks at price. And so what I'm looking for is sort of a trend reversal so that I can get on the bearish side of the market once it turns bearish. Now, on this particular day, the market actually gapped up. We can see the gap from the close. We gapped up, we rallied a little bit and ultimately kind of pulled back. And we can see that the Renko charts were bullish up until that period. It was about this time after the market pulled back uh, enough points for the for the bricks to turn negative. Uh, that's when I entered the bear call spread. So the market reversed. We started trading sideways. That was what it looked like at this candle for this candle on SPX. And I sold a slightly out of the money call credit spread. I sold the 3850 call and bought the 3855 call and I got a credit of $2.15. And basically I'm looking for a move lower. About 15 or 20 minutes, the market did move lower. We can see the Renko trend, Renko brick trend actually reversed and, and we had a few candles down. I ended up taking profits pretty quick and I'll explain why in a second. I took profits about 15 or 20 minutes later. I was able to book about 30% of the profit, uh, which was about 70, $75 a spread minus commissions in there. I was able to book that in about 15 or 20 minutes. And the reason why I, I booked profits profit so quickly is when you're looking at the forecast, yes, the forecast is saying that the rest of the day should be bearish or there's a strong possibility of it being bearish. But on this particular day, this was a Wednesday, which is the FOMC minutes day, which means that around two o'clock in the afternoon, when those minutes come out, anything can happen. And there's no indicator or chart or forecast tool that's going to predict the market reaction to a, you know, a, a CPI event or inflation report or economic reports. When we have these big known catalysts, in this case, it was the FOMC minutes, I simply want to be out of the market. So when the profit came, I went ahead and took it. Now I've got a couple other videos on how to use the alpha crunching forecast tool. I'll put on the screen here so you can check those out. And if you're interested in subscribing to alphacrunching.com, use code SPX50 for 50% off your first month. And we'll see you in the next video.